Hi, it's Pino here. Uh, I just wanted to um, show you uh, what's coming up on the uh, portal for the gold and platinum members. If we go to the pre-match to play portal and go to coming up, we can see we have a, a, a list of the matches coming up and some of the stats and whatever. I'll go through this. If we uh, filter this, here yeah, by time we can see it's the 8th of february now it's well one uh, 357 uh these games have already kicked off uh so like here you've got the english um development league watford against colchester uh, basically the stats here indicate how the teams have uh, uh, have done in their last 10 matches so they've combined 66% of the games have seen a, uh, a goal in the first half. Nearly 80% of the games have seen over one and a half matches. 39, 40% of the games have seen two and a half matches. 33% have seen both teams scoring. 37.5% of the matches saw a goal in the first 15 minutes. And 21% of the games saw a goal in the final 11 minutes. Right, so basically, as well, you can see down here, we've got this these favourites, points, uh, uh, and the preferred bet. If we filter by the points, essentially what this is saying is that in English League 2, Northampton Newport, when you look at those with a small favourite, um, you're looking at if you lay the away, you'd have won 115 points. What we'll do, we'll go into the stats to see this. So basically here, um, again, we have the English League 2, Northampton against Newport County. It's a small home favourite. <coughs> if we go down here, look at the bookies points and the return on investment on the league. So for a small favourite, we've had 842 matches where we've got results for and the odds for. The home side in this case have won 45% of the matches, which gave them a 16.45 points return, which equates to a 1.95 return on investment. If you'd have backed the draw in these games, you'd have won 29% of the time. You'd have had a loss of minus 4.97 points, giving you a, uh, a return on investment of minus 0.59%. The away backing, 25%. Uh, you'd have won on that would have given you a loss of minus 118 points and a, re um, a return of investment of minus 14.08. If we have a look at Northampton and Newport, how they've performed in these uh, games, you see that uh, Northampton have played 24 and Newport have played 39. Northampton have won 50% of them, 3.83, uh, and uh, Newport, when they faced the side, uh, away at two point place between two point and three, a favourite between those prices. Uh, the home side of one forty six percent, and back in the home side of one two point four. What we like to see is greens. So here we've got three greens on the thing, but here laying the away side has given us the biggest um, points profit, as you can see in the league ninety six point eight nine. Nine points profit for Northampton in the 24 games and uh, eight point eight and a half points profit uh, laying Newport in the, in these games. So that looks looks like the play then. Um, so if we have a look as well here, the last 20 matches long term of both sides home. Uh, Northampton's uh, last 20 home and Newport's last 20 away. If we go through here, we can see uh, Northampton, they've scored first in 55% of the matches. When they score first, they win 100% of the time. Uh, when they concede first, they conceded 45% of the time. They lose 78% of the time. So really, Northampton looks like one of these teams, if they win first, they're going to win. If they score first, they, 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 if they concede first, they're going to lose. Uh, Newport, when they score first, um, 30 percent of the times, percent of the time they do it. Sixty-six percent of the, the matches they win. Uh, when they concede, uh, sorry, when the home side scores thirty uh, in thirty percent of the time, but they go on to win. The home side go on to win sixty-six percent of the time. 
Uh, Newport, they score the away goal 65% of the time first, but only win 46% of the matches. So, you know, that, that suggests then that uh, if Newport score first, you know, you could probably look to, to, to oppose them. So if we go back and have a look here, we can see there's another League 2 game here. So again, it's suggesting laying the away side in these conditions in League 2 looks like a sort of strategy to go with. We'll have a look at the stats for the Hartlepool game. And again, it's the same sort of thing you're looking at. It, it, it's suggesting here you're looking for green. So it's suggesting, you know, that, that, that backing the home side is the way here. But really, again, laying the away side. Hartlepool, yet to see a team when they've been uh, priced between two and three and they're the small favourite. There's been seven matches. They haven't lost any of them. Uh, Barrow, 20 games, 75% um, the, the, the away side haven't won. So, again, we can see that that's a good, uh, you know, a good indicator. If we have a look here, last 20 matches long term, uh, the home side, Hartlepool, they've only taken the lead in 30% of their games. But when they do take the lead, they've won 83% uh, of the times. When the away team take the lead in 60% of the matches, they've only gone on to win 41.67 of the time. Again here, um, Barrow, when the home side have taken the lead that win 55% of the games, they've gone on to win 72%. When uh, they've uh, taken the lead in 40% of the games, they've gone on to win 62%. So here, when we combine the the two games, there's a 42.5% chance of the home team scoring. They go on to win 78% of the time. There's a 50% chance of the away team scoring. They only go on to win 52% of the time. So again, with this strong away lay leaning, again, if Barrow took the lead during the game, again, you may you you, you may wish to oppose Barrow. Um, if we go back to the the, the screen here, we, we we can then, you know, you, you can filter the competitions etc um again if we have a look at league two here it's suggesting lay away lay away lay the draw where there's a small favorite away lay the draw when it's a super competitive uh, game again lay the draw and it's got the points that you, you would have won so if we sort of filter the points you you, you want you know you, you could maybe you know sort of start looking down at around and say you know, the start of the system, maybe, right, I'm not going to look at anything that's below 40 points, one. Um, here again, you've got, you know, or, or you can you can oppose away frames. Let's just have a look. If we have a look at League 2, these two games, uh, and we'll, we'll just concentrate on these two games at the moment. So here we've got a small favourite. So it's, it's suggesting laying away or backing home. So how would we play this? Well, there's a couple of ways you can play. You you could, like I say, lay the away sides for one point. But obviously, you've got to realise that you're risking two or, or two and a half points each each play on there. You could back the home sides, just straight back the home sides. Or you could back the home sides on the handicap. If we go to the handicap of these these games, particular games, I should think they'll be my uh see Northampton off scratch you can get one point eight eight or Hartlepool minus a quarter two point one you could probably back them off scratch not one point seven but yes you you'd look to back these maybe on the handicap North Northampton off scratch and Hartlepool minus a quarter. So th there's many ways of, of playing uh these games and you know you can you you could look to obviously get involved in play should you should you wish and and as I say, Northampton Newport or Hartlepool Barrow should should Newport or Barrow take the lead then it, then it, obviously the the stats the long term stats seem to suggest that that they don't hold on to these leads and like I say we could we could go down here and and, and you can filter it by the certain bets so you know back away in these so. Here we've got the Stockport Chesterfield game in the in the National League. If we have a look at the stats here, this is uh, you know a medium favourite here, and again it's suggesting that you know a home home lay 
or, or backing the away side would be good. You know, a, a, again, you could you could probably either lay Stockport from the start or you could back Chesterfield plus a half a goal. There's so many so many ways you can, you can you can do this and and, ha, and have a look. But uh, you know, obviously, we've got to come up with some. You know, what I would do is look, have a look and either oppose. You know. Strong favourite, or you know, odds on favourites like that one there, the Stockport Chesterfield, where you're backing the away side, um, <coughs> laying the away side again. It, it all depends what odds they are. You know, uh, lay the draw. I'm not so, so keen on lay the draw there. You know, laying the home side here, you could have a look at certain stats, but that's that's just something to look at. So. I hope that gives you some sort of idea of, of, of what we're looking at and we're looking to do. And I'll do some further videos as time goes on. But that's just to give you a taster of what we're looking at.